Hazel Weitzman was on radio last Thursday, and he said, Salih, he said, to my sorrow, Khan will get eight seats in the next election. Of course. Of course, as usual, Weitzman's wrong. We'll get more. <laughs> we are captives of, of the news media. So we assume that things we don't see aren't happening. We don't hear about someone, he doesn't exist. But he does. He does. And the fact that there has been an absolute blackout on, on me in Israel, an absolute blackout for the last five months, does not mean that I don't exist. And those people who are, who are at my rallies, we have rallies, unbelievable, the numbers of people. And above all, the emotions, we give them hope. Because I say what they think. And when I get up and I say, Arabs out, and that's what you also think. That people just burst into applause. Of course this is so. And it's not an accident that most of my support comes from Sparta Jews. They are normal. Normal people. <laughs> Untouched by college professors. <laughs> normal people. They live in the real world. They've come from Arab countries, so they know what Arabs are. They don't sit as some as some West Western Jew who says, Shevi Tamakus. Let's sit with them over the coffee cake and work things out. That's not the way things are done in the Middle East. People there don't compromise upon on things that they believe in. The Arabs believe in this fully, sincerely. Give them credit. Don't have contempt for them. And I'll be even in, if he lives to be 121, will never grasp the Arab mind. This refugee. <coughs> Cambridge. <laughs> but a Jew in the Shkuna, he understands the Arabs. He comes from there and knows them. And when he gets up and he says, Arabi, Abim Shana, 40 years, and Arab just don't believe him. That's what they all say. That's why my back comes from that. They understand the Arab problem very, very well. Hopefully, this year, we will get not only eight seats, but ten seats, perhaps more. And the main thing is that there will not be any government in Israel capable of being formed without the cost movement in this election. And we, unlike the other parties, Parties. We're not interested in cabinet posts or in money. We have demands. And those demands, if not met, there will be no government. I'm a stubborn person. I'll sit home. 